Hey guys, what's going on, and welcome to FC Red Star Belgrade. Before we jump into this, let me just point you in the direction of the introduction video that was out today, is of the day I'm recording this, but was out on Tuesday. Uh, you might be a little bit confused if you don't go and watch that first, because I explained all the transfers and series goals and tactics and all that good stuff. So today we're taking on Apoel in the, uh, what is this, the Europa League playoff first leg, that's what it is. Uh, we've already gotten through uh, Punic, 13-0 on aggregate, Sarajevo, who we beat 6-1 on aggregate, and then we got through Fenerbahce as well, which was a tough draw, and I actually did record this, but the recording had a panic attack, and I need to make sure that this one isn't doing the same, and it's not, so that's that's good. Um... That would have been a problem. What it, what it did, it was really weird that OBS decided it was just going to take a frame and then put my audio over it, and that frame lasted for about five minutes. And it did this over and over again, so it was just, it was gone. I couldn't do anything with it. And I'd already recorded that episode once and got through as well, so, um, yeah, that was that was a pain. But uh, in terms of our Super League form, we've won... Uh, 2-0, and then we drew 1-1, then we won 4-1, then we lost 2-1, then we won 6-4 in the in the last game. So we have the most inconsistent team on the face of the earth, basically, um, is what I've determined. We're currently sitting in fifth, which is kind of disappointing, but um, we're only two points behind Partizan, who are really our title rivals. These guys are all going to fall off, I have an odd feeling. But uh, let's go ahead and get into this. So team for today... Uh, we've got Rodic left back, who just came back from injury, I believe. So he'll be he'll be nice to have back. Um, you can see he's already got four assists this season, one in a friendly. But we only played in one friendly. So uh, then we have Leitalik and, and uh, Satara, one of our new signings at center back. Leitalik, you can see there, he's actually scored some goals for us. Uh, Satara just he plays occasionally. Uh, he'll as you can see by his potential though, as I mentioned in the introduction video that you should really go watch if you haven't. Uh, he'll he's a fairly bright prospect. And then uh, Stojkovic at right back, and we have uh, Borjan and Goal. I did forget to mention. And I'm gonna I'm gonna struggle with a lot of these names anyway. In central midfield, we have Jovicic, who's coming in for the injured um, or the suspended Mitchell Donald, uh, who's one of our best players. So that's a shame. He's actually our captain as well. Then we have Kristic, who I've mentioned in the introduction video as well. Going forward, we have Kanga, who's a very good central attacking midfielder. Along with Ranajic, I think is how you say his name. Uh, good prospect there. Cernic on the right, which he isn't all that good at playing, but he's better on the left. But if you if you switch the two of them around, they're just not as good. So if you switch uh, Ranajic and Cernic around, then they're just not as good. And you can see Boakye up top, who already has 20 goals this season, uh, 15 in the Europa League and, and five in the Superliga. So. That's nice. Um, he got, uh, I'm trying to remember, he didn't score as much in the last, he only scored one in the last game, but I think he had two in the game before that, so. Or no, he couldn't have had two, because we only scored once. No, he came on in that one and scored, that's what it was, and then he scored two in that game. So he's been fairly good so far this season. But let's go ahead and get into this before I start rambling further. Here you can see the formations for the two sides today. I don't know anybody in that Apoel team at all. I'm not 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 necessarily. I I can't watch. Uh, is it Cyprusian? Um, is that that what you call them? Are any of these people from Cyprus? Nope, he's Hungarian. Um, this guy's got to be from Cyprus, right? Cypriots. That's what it is. Um, I don't I don't I don't get the chance to watch much Cypriot soccer in the United States. Unfortunately, I don't think you can get that anywhere. Honestly. Uh, let's see, they've lost their last five games, apparently, and I expect us to pile on the misery. Yep, that's what I'm going to say. Uh, obviously, I would rather have Mitchell Donald. So, I mean, I'm expecting to win this game. We're going with our control tactic, which would suggest that. Um, so, we'll, let's, let's hope we can win, really, because this will... I think this, this should get us a spot in the, in the Europa League group stage. Which uh, a nice viewer did tell me that they've uh, they're sitting second in their group right now in the in the Europa League, which is pretty spectacular. 
Um, really, I, I'm assuming Arsenal is ahead of them because they are in a group with them. And they uh, did well to get a point at the Emirates as well. I do remember that one. So hopefully we'll be able to duplicate that success. And uh, Apoel are actually coming forward here, and they take a shot from long range. That was rather uninspiring from them. We have a chance here for us, and it's whipped in by Cernich and headed over by Satara. I believe that was. I was uh, looking at the analysis screen because <laughs> nothing was happening. I was getting a little bit concerned. Things are slowly starting to wind down here in the first half. I mean, we've just been dominant. We just haven't been able to turn any of those 11 shots and in the in the goals, and really not many of them have been on target. I mean, I think we've been decent. I mean, we haven't conceded. Of course, we aren't home, so an away goal would be pretty bad, all things considered. Uh, let's just go ahead and apparently. Um, I'm just going to say just keep doing what you've been doing and it should should come out with a uh, positive result at the end of it. Let's go and jump into the second half. I mean, we have been pretty dominant. We've just had that one chance, though, which is a little bit annoying that was headed over by uh, Satara. So uh, let's hope for better in this second half. And actually, Apoel are coming forward here, but we do intercept and uh, come forward here through Kanga and uh, over to Jovicic. Which is not Jovatic, it's Jovacic, which is really weird to say. Passing it around nicely. And into the box for Boakia, who scores, but he's offside. Calm down, lads. It didn't actually happen. I mean, that's the kind of stuff that he does, though. It's uh, it's typically a pass from Kanga, because you could, you could have seen in the tactics screen, they've actually developed a, a bit of a partnership up top there. It's always a pass to Kanga through to him, and he'll just about always score them. Unfortunately, that time he was offside. And Apoel are attempting to come forward again here. That guy had a heck of a name. Good lord. Look at that. <laughs> I don't even know how you even start to say that. But they have a shot from range that blazes over the bar. And I think yeah, we could say we're fairly lucky not to concede there. I'm going to go and make some changes, I think. In fact, uh, Kanga is fairly tired, but I don't think he's going to come off. Hmm. You see, I hate it when, when these kind of players show up having a bad game. I just, I, taking off Kanga just seems like a terrible idea. But he is tired, and we do have some some games coming up that he needs to be fit for. So I think we're going to bring on Luka Ilic, who is on loan from Manchester City. Oddly enough, so that should do. He is a good player, just he's not as good as Kanga, so he doesn't start, obviously. And we're, we're trying to attack there here in the 71st minute, but uh, that, that was a good tackle by the Applewell player. And they can come forward now. They've definitely had the better of it here in the second half. And they throw the ball through, and uh, that's a great save by Borean there. That's one thing our defenders really aren't that good at, and I'm telling them to drop a little bit deeper to try and combat the fact that their their uh, their marking seems to just be non-existent when a ball is played, and that's a shot from range that Borean saves comfortably. And we really need to pick it up here. I'm going to go and make some more changes because the lads are getting a little bit tired. I do not want to take off our entire midfield. That is a bad idea, and we also have nobody to bring on anywhere. Okay, so we're going to bring Illich back to there. Swap those two around. And then bring on uh, Ricardinho, who has an amazing name, I might add. Alright, we are coming forward here, but Applewell do get it cleared away and could hit us on the break here. Unless, okay, that's a, that's a very speculative shot there. I don't know what he was thinking. I'm going to go and make our last change because I thought I already made it and just forgot about it. Um, hmm. I guess we'll bring on Pesic for the last few minutes, see if he can do anything. That seems like a plan. Uh, we, we've really been kind of uninspiring in this game. 
as it rolls into extra time. I mean, we we had a good first half. I think it was like 10-3 to 3 on shots, but we've only had about three shots in the second half, four now. And there might be a chance here in the last minute or so. I wouldn't think so, but Applewell do have possession of the ball currently. And do actually get it forward to their striker here as he plays it back to the midfielder. Salai, I believe, is that guy's name. And uh, we do manage to get it cleared, but it's picked up just inside our half. And uh, they've hit a lot of long shots. And I'm, I'm glad that we're forcing them to do it because that was, I mean, it, it, I mean, if he had gotten a few more steps into the box, we might have had a problem. But that is a nil-nil draw on uh, the home leg, which is not the greatest. But we didn't concede an away goal, so... I'm just going to say unlucky it wasn't our night because we could have probably put a few of those away. So, but you can see some of the some of the teams we avoided. I mean, we've got AC Milan there, Freiburg are even a good team compared to us. Uh, Galatasaray, of course, we did just beat Fenerbahce, so I guess there were they wouldn't be that bad. Um, Olympic Marseille, Tel Aviv, they're decent. I don't think they could beat us though. Um. So you can you can see that there. Atletico Bilbao. Now that would have been a bad bad thing. Uh I feel like Everton are there. Yep, almost missed them. I thought I saw them. So it could have been much worse. But uh I'll see you for the second leg in Cyprus. That's where they are, Cyprus. Yeah, you think I'd know that after trying to figure out what a person from Cyprus is called. Cypriot. So uh, due to the power, of, for me it'll be a you know a week away and a game in between. But due to the power of editing, you'll you'll be there in a few seconds. Gotta love the power of editing, eh? Okay, so we're back here for the second leg game, which is in Cyprus. So we're playing our counterattacking system as we're actually not favorites for this game. The game in between this ended at a two-two draw, which. At the time of them scoring their second goal, they had only had two shots. So you can guess how that game went. We actually missed a penalty in the 89th minute as well. So And we hit the post or the woodwork three times. So there's that as well. Um, yeah. But let's just go ahead and get into this. Boake has 21 goals on the season. So we'll see if he can add to his tally today. And uh, Cernich is top on assists, I guess. Yeah, he is. He's got... Nine assists and 11 appearances, so yeah, I guess he is, and four goals. He's a bit good, uh, you could say. So, let's just go ahead and yeah, just show me what you can do. I mean, we'll, we'll see what happens. I, it would be such a shame if we got knocked out, because especially with the, the money could help us out a fair amount as well. So, I guess we'll see what happens all to play for. And after uh, it being nil-nil on the first leg. And that was a bad giveaway. In fact, I am going to tell them to... I forgot to change this. It's that button. Sit just deeper. Not slightly deeper. Deeper. Because we get players just... Uh, the, just the ball over the top will kill us. Simple as that. So we'll see if that can uh, be... That, that instruction can be uh, effective today. We're having to take off Mitchell Donald here because uh, apparently he strained his knee ligaments, which, you know, at least that's what my assistant told me, so that, that can't be a good thing, but he uh, will not feature any longer in this game. And we actually have a chance coming forward here with the attacking throw. And it's put into the box, and Boake boises it over the bar. That's not something you see very often out of him. Still no no. We actually have a chance here. I was just about to sit here and stare at it. That was interesting. Um, and I'm hoping the chance isn't just uh, that cross because we we've really been the better team today. But we'll, we'll see what happens. As uh, Apoel possess the ball now and are coming forward, but that's a good tackle put in by Jovicic, and we are now back in possession. As we slowly move up the pitch for a counterattacking style, but Sarnich now on the ball. Plays it back into the midfield with Kanga, who drives forward. And uh, is actually tackled. But Kristic plays through Sarnic, who scores. And that's 1-0. And that gives us a very commanding position in this tie. Because they now need two to stop us from going through. Because with, uh, with that away goal there. 
I mean, that was very well done. I mean, Kanga getting the ball into a dangerous area obviously got tackled. What a ball from Kristich, and then Cernich, what a finish. Side of the net, barely crept in the post, in all honesty. That was very well done. There's actually another chance here soon after the, uh, the one that we just scored, actually. Cernich coming in. Now to Govelgic, who's playing right back today, who hits a cross and it almost flies in. Uh, that'd be nice if we could get some luck like that on our sides. Uh, I doubt anything's going to happen from the resulting corner as it's headed away and Boakia runs out to pick it up and can actually put it in. It's another cross that almost traveled the goalkeeper. We need to work on that in training because, you know, crosses are supposed to go to teammates, not towards the goalkeeper. That's kind of the whole point. We're uh, running in towards halftime here. We've actually had 11 shots to their 5, 3 on target to their 1. And we're actually doing okay in the possession battle as well, considering we're on a, a counter-attacking system. I've done something interesting, though. I've told them to work the ball into the box because we were apparently just hitting a bunch of long shots. So, that's not a very favorable thing to do. Um, but I'm just going to tell them they've played well, but there's room for improvement, which there is. But they have played very well, I mean, no, no doubt. Being up 1-0 in a, I, what I would assume is a very intimidating environment. Uh, we'll see if we can continue this good performance into the second half. And there might very well be a chance here off of the goal kick from Borean, which is headed away to that lad that's playing for uh, Apoel. But we do pick possession back up here in the defensive area. Satara on it now to Leitrik. Forward to Krišić now, Kanga out to Jovetic, back to Kristic. Rodic now driving forward from the left-back position. Out wide to Sarnic, that was an interesting switch of play, who now runs forward. Jovetic now in the central areas, Kanga plays it to Boakje, who's very far outside the box at this point. Passes it back to Govelgic to Sarnic now, has a chance to put it in towards Boyake, who scores. I think that may have taken a deflection, but... Uh, Good play nonetheless, though. That was very patient play, which I'm, I'm surprised by. I'm not really telling them to play like that, but they're just doing it. I like this counterattacking system. I'm just not sure it's going to work in the league because our, our control tactic did that. I, I think it did take a deflection, yeah. But uh, our, our, our control tactic really isn't working in the league, if you can't tell by the results. I mean, we're down in, like, seventh. And I've actually had a player get injured here in the... Closing in on the 60th minute now, 2 0. We have a chance off the free kick here in the uh, 69th minute with Kanga, who's now in the box, can put it in. And that gets knocked in by Ranajic, and we're 3 0 up all of a sudden. Apoel are absolutely imploding right now. And, you know, that was a, that was a bizarre camera angle. Is this one going to be any better? Is it going to actually switch or no? Yeah, I mean, we can only assume it was a ball across the face of goal and Radicic was just in the right area and put it in. So we're starting to look very comfortable here. And uh, Cernic actually just took a knock, so I'm going to take him off, I think. And uh, bring on Ricardinho, the man with the best name ever. And I'm going to wait a little bit to make our third sub, just to uh, avoid any uh, any situations where we can only have ten men on the field. There's actually a chance here. Yeah, we have a corner. It's, uh, I can only assume Kanga is about to whip in, yes. And Kanga does put it in. It's headed away. Uh, picked up by Ricardinho, who just kind of slides it away. And Apoel are coming forward here through Salai. And that's a, a very good tackle by, uh, who is that? Rodic, who's probably the better of our two fullbacks because uh, right back, of course, he's not in right now, but Govelgic doesn't seem to have the same problem, but our other right back has a tendency to get too far forward and caught out if they decide to hit us on the break. I am going to go ahead and make our last change now, and we're going to bring off Kanga, who's had a great game, no doubt. Yeah, we're going to go and take him off and bring on Luka Ilic. Apoel actually have a chance here from the corner in the 88th minute, and it's cleared off the line, I think that was. I'm fairly certain. I don't know. That was that was going. Great. I was looking up at the time to tell you uh, the the minute, and it, it had already passed the highlight. So, 
We're into added time here, though. Um, we, we have kind of dominated. 17 shots to 10. You can't complain. And we should be able to just play this out. Okay, well, just give him a goal kick. Sure, why not? And that is full time. So we have qualified for the Europa League group stages, which is great for the club. Give us a bunch of money. It was a great win. Very pleased. And when is the draw? The draw is legitimately tomorrow, so uh, I guess I'll, I was going to make you wait until the next episode, but I'll see you for that. Okay, so it's time for the Europa League group stage draw. First of all, let me just highlight on the fact that we're going to be, that we've been awarded, not going to be awarded, have been awarded $3.04 million, which is a nice bit of cash, and a Mitchell Donald's out for two to three weeks after pulling his knee ligaments, as my assistant manager suspected. Let's just see, what does that do towards the finances? That's actually a fairly considerable amount of money that's being injected there since we only had a balance of $9 million, up to twelve now. Let's go ahead and get into this draw. We are, I'm assuming, like a fourth seed. Uh, yeah, we are. So we're going to have a tough group, I would assume. So let's just go through this. Um, obviously, this isn't going to tell us anything. I mean, it can. I mean, I'd rather be in a group with like Sport of Prague, PSV, uh, Dynamo Kiev would be okay as well, actually. Um, definitely not Arsenal. <laughs> uh, let's just go ahead and draw through these. Any groups looking favorable? That one's not too bad. That one kind of sucks now. Um, yeah, they're all kind of tough, aren't they? That one would be okay, I guess. Yeah, that's Red Bull Salzburg, not uh, not Leipzig, so that wouldn't be that bad of a group either. Uh, Malmo in there with Arsenal. Jeez, <laughs> oh, that that group. <laughs> I don't want that one or that one. I don't want any of these really. Let's just let's just see who we get. So time has arrived here for the fourth seeds. Um, I don't want any of these groups. But we don't get Arsenal. That's good. I don't really want this one either. And we don't get that one. This one would be okay. Nope. Uh, please no. Okay, good. Uh, uh, well, I mean... We're just down to six teams now. Let's see. Which group do I want? This next one would be okay. I don't, I'm don't. i kind of scared of Atalanta. Uh, I don't really want any of them. Especially not that one. Do not give me Group L or K. Or J, really. Really, Group I is the... It's the group that I would not mind having. We don't get G. We don't get H. Are we going to get Group I? Hey, we got Group I. Of course, Hertha Berlin are in there, though. But I don't know how good they are. Where are they in the league this year? They're fourth currently in the Bundesliga. Yeah, so, of course, they've only played one game. Who'd they beat? Hoffenheim. Okay, if they beat Bayern or something, I'd be concerned. Um, so there's that. But we're in there with Young Boys and Salzburg. I mean, it's not that bad. I mean, we didn't get Arsenal. Um, let's just see if the media have any have any questions to ask us. That'll give me a good gauge on how hard the group is if they ask us about the draw. Um, Salzburg will be will be fun. Yeah. So apparently they think Salzburg is our is our toughest opponent, I assume. There are all the matches getting rearranged. You can see how quickly our matches come by the fact that that many matches got rearranged. So, let's see. One of those games taking place. So, they take place, place uh, fairly soon, actually. So, let's see. Rad. They're in eighth. I'm trying to decide which game to do. I want to start getting through this season, but no, do any of them fall around a partisan game? Not really. Uh, <laughs> I hate it when I have to do this. Uh, let's go, let's see, which one of these guys are better? Actually, we should beat up on them. So let's go, let's go Mac, Macva, Macva, I, I think, and, and Red Bull Salzburg. Those will, that'll be a good, good, uh, good games to do. So. In that case, I'll, I'll see you in the next episode. Uh, if you have enjoyed, please do leave a like on the video. If you're new around here, subscribe. It helps me out a lot. And I'll see you next time.